Welcome back to American Agenda. A new poll from the National Republican Congressional Committee finds that 75 percent of swing voters say that Democrats are out of touch and condescending. Yeah, President Biden actually won those districts by an average of five and a half points, but Republicans now hold a four-point advantage. Yeah, let's bring in our panel to discuss uh, Chrissy Clark and host of Stacy on the Right and Project 21 co-chair Stacy Washington. There she is. The uh, living room we yeah. all want to go to. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Stacy, your thoughts on this? Swing voters are condescending. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. I the Democrats are out of touch. So we have an enormous opportunity here as Americans. I, dare I say it as someone whose radio show is called Stacy on the Right, um, to get out of the <laughs> left right time for a second. Um, Ice T, he, 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 so Ice T tweeted out a story about being robbed, but at the end of the tweet, it's actually him at Pump Nine. He says Pump Nine robbed him, and he is winning the internet today uh -huh. because he's not a Republican. Uh, he doesn't actually seem like he's really a Democrat all the way. But he's commenting on something we're all feeling, and that's pain at the pump. So when we see these polls that show that overwhelming majorities of Americans are hurting, not understanding our huge aid amounts to Ukraine, but $600 checks to Americans, now we're going to get rebates from our federal government, which just means higher taxes later to mm -hmm. offset the cost of gas instead of pumping gas from Canada and from our own. You know, we have so much abundance here in this country. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. I, don't, don't blame this on out of touch. People are in touch. They're in touch with their empty bank accounts and their yeah. wallets that are crying out in pain. And it's those chicken thighs. Even yeah, and like Chrissy, yeah, Chr yeah, Chrissy, I think people are saying Democrats are out of touch and condescending. I think the condescending part comes oh. from the elites uh, on the uh, uh, on the coasts. That's the way I look at it. Absolutely. And I think, I think it's two pronged. First, Democrats use terms like what we were talking about in our last panel segment, Latinx or Latinx, whatever you want to call it. They use that. They talk about how uh, transgender men should be allowed to swim at the NCAA swimming final meets and that that's not at all controversial. They just kind of gaslight Americans that are even liberal or independent into thinking that, oh, I don't believe that or I wouldn't say that. I mean, it just feels out of touch. I think coupled with the fact that we had a very in-touch president, a man who you know, was incredibly rich and well off, yet really understood the plight of middle America because he lived near it or lived, uh, you know, adjacent mm -hmm. to it at points of his life. This is an administration that doesn't feel that at all. I think right. it's just the dichotomy of watching a really yeah. in-touch president to a really out-of-touch president. Yeah, certainly yeah. see a difference there. Sorry we don't have more time today. Uh, Chrissy Clark, Stacey Washington, mm -hmm. thank you so much.